Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss The Wedding Singer, starring Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore, Alan Covert, Christine Taylor, Matthew Grave, Ellen Albertini Dow, and Billy Idol, and directed by Frank Caracci. Now, I have seen this movie before on TV and such, but I don't think I would have known what the language going on in this movie that what it was all about, but... I will just say, I know that Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore have connected before in other movies after this. Like, for example, Fifty First First Dates or Blended. I like Fifty First First Dates, but Blended, I couldn't finish that one. That one was so bad. But let's get into this movie. It's 1985, and Robbie Hart, played by Adam Sandler, is a singer. And I like the way he sings, You Spin Me Round Like a Record. It sounds sort of like the singer of Dead or Alive, and Steve Buscemi gives an inappropriate speech about marriage, and Robbie gives sort of a better speech, and says he's getting married next week. And honestly, did anybody want to know that at your own wedding? Because God knows I wouldn't. Two cousin waitresses, Holly and Julia Sullivan, played by Christine Taylor and Drew Barrymore, are waiting on tables, and Robbie helps a kid out vomiting in the trash, compactor or whatever that was and meets Julia and they have chemistry Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore and their scenes are the best thing about this movie in my opinion the next week comes and the audience figures out Robbie's fiance ditched the wedding and he's depressed as she tells him she's not in love with him anymore and she acted like a bitch about dumping Robbie's ass meanwhile Julia gets engaged to Glenn Guglia. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Played by Matthew Glaive, who seems like a nice person at first, but at the end of the day, he's a spoiled child. But the script does a good job with what to do with the characters, meaning like caring for Robbie and Julia and hoping they get together by the end of the movie. Despite they barely know each other at first, at this point, at the beginning... Robbie goes back to work with a mood that even Holly feels bad for him. And so does Julia, and as well as Sammy, played by Alan Covert. And Julia so... Julia so Robbie sings, Love stinks! I, which barely made me laugh. I laughed I, at that scene, I will admit. It cracked me up. Julia has a brief talk with Robbie, and she asks him to sing at her wedding and invites him to her engagement party with Sammy. And again, I really enjoy these scenes with Sandler and Barrymore together for their chemistry. Glenn believes in getting his way at the wedding, and I like the fact we get to know and care for the characters, and it's unusual for an Adam Sandler movie. For example, he works at Wall Street, and Robbie helps out a fat kid dancing with a pretty girl and lets Julia dance with him. That was the pretty girl, by the way. And that scene was cute. I smiled when he talked to the fat kid and lets Julia pick him because he saw him talking to him. You should not judge others on the outside, but more on the inside of what they are on the inside at best. Moving on. Um, Robbie and Julia kiss for educational reason purposes. And it looked rather inspiring, like they were in love, really. Which was cute, and Holly asks Robbie out on a double date with Julia, Glenn, and Robbie asks Glenn his last name and realize Julia's last name is going to be Gulia, which rhymes with Julia Gulia, get it? Cause it? And it's funny. And Robbie, from talking to Glenn, gets the impression Glenn is the wrong guy for Julia, but she doesn't know that quite yet. Holly wants, Holly wants to get laid with Robbie while Robbie has feelings for Julia and Julia goes to Rosie's place and Rosie, who's played by Ellen Albertini Dow, tells Julia he's going to the city and gets a job and acts like an asshole to Julia, which made me sad. But he tells Sammy what Glenn told him in the bar scene earlier in the film, which is he's going to cheat on Julia. And she doesn't know that yet. And Robbie really wants to tell Julia about it, but he doesn't want to break up the, a marriage. And I'm not laughing as much as this second half, because it's 
yeah, it got pretty serious, like Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And th granted, this is a better movie than Forgetting Sarah Marshall, in my opinion, but Glenn is drunk with prostitutes and acts like a, the jealous fiancé from Wedding Crashers, where he punches Robbie in the nose. Robbie's ex fiance Linda, comes back while drunk after he wakes up and he kicks Linda out of the house and doesn't tell him about Julia coming by his place. And Julia goes to Las Vegas with Glenn, and Holly warns Robbie about their leaving to Vegas, and he sits in an airplane with Billy Idol and sings a song in the speaker on the, of the airplane, and I'm talking about Robbie, by the way. She's also on the, who's also on the plane with Glenn, and, and Billy pushes Glenn in the bathroom on the f plane, and they confess their love for each other and get married and live happily ever after, which was a cute ending. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. This is the first Adam Sandler starring role in a comedy I really liked and cared for him in the in the movie, not counting Punch Drunk Love or Hotel Transylvania. Two of his movies I reviewed and liked, and the scenes with Sandler and Drew Barrymore make the movies sing and the best parts of the movie, in my opinion. The first half and the final half I laughed at and had a smile on my face at but the second half did get kind of serious and toned it down but at the end of the day it's a good heartwarming film I like it so I'd like to thank you guys for joining me and next week I will be back with the water boy and until next time zippity doo